Sometimes it's necessary to create a brand new HTML element, for example a div tag, and insert it into an existing document. That's easy to do with JavaScript, so let's quickly run through how to do it. We'll start with an existing HTML document, like this one you're seeing right now. Very exciting. From here, we're going to create another small box. Then we're going to insert it inside box 2. Ready? Let's do this! All of this code should go inside the event listener that we've already defined. First, create the element, like this. As you can see, we're giving this box some inner text and setting some styles programmatically. If you wanted to do that with classes instead of inline styles, and in a real app you definitely would, you can add a class, like this. That'll turn our text white and make it easier to see on the dark blue background. Hooray! Now we need to insert that new box into box number two. Fortunately, that too is super easy. Here's how to do it. Save that, refresh, and we have a blue box with white text inside box two. So that's it. Simple, right? There is one small catch though. Each element you create is unique. So you can't, for example, loop over all the boxes on the page and put a blue box in each one just by using the box2 element. So here's some code that demonstrates exactly why that's a problem. Let's see what happens there. That code is only going to put a white box down inside box 3, because that's the final box in the DOM tree. So basically what it does is very rapidly, faster than the browser even refreshes, moves the white box through each of the other boxes until it comes to rest in the last one. So that's it. Creating elements and appending them to other elements. Simple stuff, but definitely valuable. See you next week.